everybody, welcome to the Black Sheep Props channel. I'm Steve and I'm here to teach you the tips, tools, techniques, and materials for building your very own super cool EVA foam props. Now in our last build, we went action movie when we built Harley Quinn's M79 grenade launcher from the movie Birds of Prey. Uh, if you missed that build, we're going to include the link in the description below to our channel's homepage so you can go over there and check out M79 grenade launcher or any of the other cool builds we have there. Um, but for this build, we're going to go video games. So without further ado, Black Sheep Props would like to introduce you to the newest member of the family. <laughs> yeah! Check that out. One of Jet's throwing knives from the game Valorant. Super cool. Look at that thing, man. Check out that blade. Really thin, comes to a point. We've got this sharp tapered edge around the whole thing. There's no support in there, but it's stiff. A little bit of magic we're gonna show you. Um, and check out this whole central contraption in here. We've got a bunch of bevels and geometricness happening in there. Circle detail in the middle, a cool handle with some more geometry and beveled edges and stuff, and the cool leather strap wrapped around it. I wish I could make it like float over my hand like that. Um, so, in this episode, making an EVA foam jet knife uh, we're going to build this whole thing and uh, seal it and paint it all in this one episode. Really easy and really fun. Um, and if you want to build along with us, super easy build. We have a template for this too, so we'll include the link in the description below to our storefront. So you can go grab a template if you want. If not, that's cool too. Um, so if you're ready to hit it, let's make something. All right, look at that. That's it, man. That's all the pieces for Jet's knife. All right, we're going to begin here with the bottom end of the handle and our circle detail. These are both in 18 millimeter foam. That's three quarters of an inch. We're going to cut these out on the band saw and the scroll saw. And okay, we've got our guide raised about a half inch over our piece. Now we're going to cut the circle first. All right, there we go. Now we're going to use this circle to make a guide. Okay, there we go. We used our circle and we've got our mark right there. Okay, there we go. We've got our handle, we've got our circle cut out. Now that's going to go right on there. Now, the reason we didn't cut this all as one piece is because we want to round the edge of this circle off so that when it comes up and meets right here it's got a little bit of a round over in between the two all right so we're going to get our dremel out and we're going to round this off now we're going to come in with our 220 sanding stick and we are going to all right, now we're going to get off some of our bandsaw marks around the edge. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to soften the outer edge of this piece as well. All right, there we go. Now we've got a soft round edge around the whole piece. And right around Okay, now we're going to come in with our little piece of PVC pipe and we're going to wrap our sandpaper around it. Okay, now the reason we're not using the sanding stick for this one is because we're going to use this for the corners also. Alright, so it works on the straight edges just like that. Nice. All right, now we're going to get in here in this curve. That's why we're using the PVC. Nice, look at that. Nice soft edges everywhere. Now, when we bring this in and we stick it down, look at that. Nice gap we have in between. Both of them are rounded. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice. All right, let's seal this one. All right, there we go. Look at that. Foam tightened up real nice. We've got soft edges in here and right in there like that. 
Ooh, that's cool. All right, now. all right. So we're gonna come through here, cut it apart. Now we want a bevel cut all the way around this whole piece. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in with our X-Acto knife, and we're gonna tip our blade over. Just like that. This side, curve around the outside and cut it off. And we're gonna tip our knife 45 degree angle, go through. All right, there we go. We've got a bevel around the front, a bevel around the sides, and now. Okay, now we're gonna come back to our 18 millimeter circle. We're gonna cut the center out. So we've got to poke a hole through here so we can put the scroll saw blade through it. Okay, we've got a Forstner bit in here. That's a Forstner bit, nice big round bit. We're gonna go right through the middle, but what we're gonna do is put a piece underneath it, just like that. And we're gonna go right through it and come out the other side. There we go enough space to feed the blade through. Let's go over to the scroll saw and cut it out. All right, there we go, look at that. Nice, poked the hole through it, fed our scroll saw blade through and cut it out. Now we're gonna Dremel this inside edge. All right, now we're using our PVC pipe again, since it's round, to get in here a little bit. All right, let's make a mark. And then right there and there. All right, you know the drill. Let both sides dry and then they'll make contact. Now we're going to line our Sharpie markup on that side. We're gonna come around and line it up there. Beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna come in with these pieces. We've got our center line marked here and the tip is the center and there it is. And we're going to come in with these two front corners here and here and we're going to line those up in this crease. All right? so when we line them up in the crease just like that and put it in the center, this bottom will go almost all the way to the bottom. All right? but that's what we're going to do. Right. Okay, now we're going to line up our two tips with the crease in between the circle and the handle, just like that. Perfect, here on this corner and here. And then we're going to, there it is on both sides. Looking good. Okay, now we're gonna start doing the blade. All right, now this is kind of complex, but it shouldn't be hard at all. All right, it's gonna be made out of three pieces and we've got a bunch of marks on here, so we're gonna walk through it each step of the way. What we're gonna do first is we're going to cut these shapes out. All right, now comes the tricky part, okay? What we're going to be doing is we're gonna be coming in and following this inside line right through here, right through here, and right through here. And we're gonna bevel these with the Dremel. All right, so we're gonna make some extra marks first, all right? All right, here we go. Got our dust mask on. Now we talked about how we're gonna be using this inside line, but what we did was we drew a center line right there through the width of our piece on all of our pieces, okay, just like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bevel from this line to this line, then we're gonna roll it over to this side and go from this line to this line. And we're gonna do that on all three of these, all right? So let's take the first one. Right. 
All right, look at that. Now all we're gonna use is this section from here to here. So we did it. We beveled from that line to that line, nice and smooth. Now we're gonna flip it around and do the same thing over here. All right, look at that. That is a amazing taper right there. All right, like this and like that. Okay, now we're going to knock this cut out on the bandsaw. We've got our taper that comes right up to the peak. And we cut out the rest of it with our guide. That's a pretty complex little piece right there, but totally easy. All right, now we're going to come in. We're going to do the same thing to these two pieces. We're going to bevel this inner edge right to the peak on both. All right, there we go, same thing. We dremeled from here to the peak and then from the peak back down to here. Now we've got a nice taper. All right, now we're gonna cut out on our lines on the bandsaw. All right, sweet, now watch this. This is gonna come in and attach, let's turn it this way. This is gonna come in and attach just like that. And then this is gonna slip up to here and attach just like that. Wow, look at that cool bevel on the inside of there that we get. That is nuts, hot dog, look at that. All right, let's heat seal it and let's glue it together. But first, we'll come in with our 220 sanding stick just to smooth out all this Dremel work a little bit. All right, let's seal these pieces up. We're gonna line this corner up flush on both corners, right there. We're gonna spin this around and line it up right there and there. All right, there we go. Now this is going to come in and line up on that side there and there. Now over to this side and here. And some here and here. All right, there we go, look at that. Now this is really cool, look at that. We've got this cool tapered inside edge. Comes to a peak on both sides. We've got it here, and look at this cool cutout we have right here. That is a really cool geometric blade right there. And we've got our curve on the back, which is gonna go right on there like that. And we'll be, we're gonna go right through our line, and that's gonna be the center at the top, so we know from there to there is the center. All right, right there. Line our piece up with our Sharpie mark. Right there and there and there. <laughs> Good grief, that's cool. Nice. Here is the shape that the side view is going to have. And then obviously this will be the other view. So what we're going to do first is this cut. Okay, so we have this on a really thick piece of foam. We're going to cut this piece out first. Then after we do that, we'll lay this template on there and do that cut second. All right, so let's go over to the bandsaw. We're going to stand this up and we're going to send it through and we're going to cut this taper out. 
All right, there we go. There is our taper cut. That's a pretty fine little piece right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut this template out. All right, look at that. Tapers down to a point. Got it. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're going to shape this edge a little bit. All right, we're gonna try to get to a point in the middle. All right, got our dust mask on. Now let's try to taper this blade a little bit. All right, there we go. Nice, we've got a nice taper right there. Look at that thing, man, that is crazy. And that's gonna come in and go like that. We're gonna come in with our 220. All right, let's seal it. Now it's kind of thin, so we don't want to bake it. Nice and tight. Foam's been sealed and tightened. Wow, that is gonna really look cool. All right. Down in the corner. Okay, we're gonna push that down. We're gonna get this. Right there, let's. Nice. Okay, now we can come over to this side and do the same thing. We can lay it down. Now let's get it. Now it doesn't matter if you dent your foam, it'll relax and go right back to normal because it's foam. All right, there we go. That is Jet's knife. Look at that thing, man. Crazy. Now we've got some glue residue on here that we can clean up with our Dremel. Okay, now we're gonna come in with this two millimeter piece. We've got these thin little strips. We don't need a straight edge. Perfect, there we go. A thin two millimeter strip. Now this is gonna be used to wrap around here on the handle. So we're going to draw our line where we want it to go. All right, we're gonna go right through here like this. And then we're gonna come back through like this. And then we're gonna come down like this. All right. All right, there we go, just like that. Make our starting mark, just like that. There we go. Hold it down while it bonds. All right, there we go. See how it wraps around the piece just like that? Come in here. Just like that. And then we're gonna come in and we are going to push it down in the crevice like that. Hold it while it bonds. Since we've got two millimeter foam, it's really thin. Now look what happens. All right, look at that. Nice, it goes up and around right now. All right, now we're just gonna take our time and we're going to follow our line and we're going to cement and squeegee, cement and squeegee, cement and squeegee. Okay, right. We have a lot of squeeze out on here. This is why you definitely wanna wear gloves. All right, look at that. 
that's going to cut right there. And we are going to cut right there. Right. All right, there we go. Now, when we bring that around, it should match right up and be sweet, sweet awesome. That's looking pretty sharp, literally. Okay, now we've got a little trick here we're gonna do, all right? We have learned in the past that when we use our foam squeegees and we are wiping the squeeze out off of our super glue, wherever that super glue is left, it dries and makes the surface of the foam really hard. But you don't see it when you seal it. And what I thought is, since the tip of this blade's a little bit flimsy, what we're gonna do is we're going to coat the top end of this blade with super glue and let it dry, and that's gonna make it stiff. So let's do it. All right, we're gonna come in here. We're gonna get a bunch on here, just like that. And we are going to basically paint it just like that let's come over to this side now when this dries the whole tip of this will be hard and it won't be flexible on the end Last little detail, and that is this teeny tiny little gap right here on the wrap. So let's set that there. Let's move this out of the way. All right, here we go. We're going to come in here. We're going to get just a little bit on the tip of our little spatula here, and we're going to come over to this little spot on the wrap. And we have a little tiny gap right here on our blade. Let's go ahead and fill that in. Our quick seal is dry and this is so jamming. Our super glue on our blade dried and the blade is like really stiff here at the end. That worked out great. That's just enough to keep the tip from being wobbly. Really cool. All right, so with that last detail, that brings the build portion of Jet's Knife to a close. All right, here we are out at the spray stand. We're going to begin coating Jet's Knife with our Plasti Dip. And you know the drill, even if you're outside in a well ventilated area, do not spray without your respirator. All right, there we go. Sealed in Plasti Dip, looking good. Our couple spots we patched with Quick Seal can barely be seen, and then when we paint it, you'll really never see it. Easy stuff, let it dry, and then we'll paint it. All right, there we go. We coated Jet's knife with our flat antique nickel. 
And you notice we were holding it by this part of the blade. That's because we are going to be painting that part of the blade with a different color. So it was okay if we use that to hold on to. So there we go. All right, now we're gonna come in with our wrought iron. We're gonna come in and we're just gonna cut right up against this edge of that circle. All right, that's it. We're just gonna take our time. We're gonna cut in right around our circle. All right, now it's going down really thin, so we're definitely gonna be doing two coats on here. And this is gonna be a real simple little detail to paint. Nothing complicated in here. All right, now we've got this itty bitty tiny, tiny little edge in here. Wow, that is a microscopic little edge there. All right, let it dry, then we're gonna come in and hit it with a couple coats to get it solid. All right, look at the difference, this side compared to this side. All right, there's one coat. You can see through it a little bit. There's two coats. Beautiful. Sweet, there it is, two layers, real easy. All right, here we go. We're gonna come in with our real brown. Easy stuff, we're just gonna go over all of our wrap. Then when it dries, we'll do a second coat. All right, there we go. We've got one layer of our brown on our strap, just like that. And uh, we'll let it dry and we'll do another couple coats. But what we're gonna do also is, because this is a four millimeter piece of foam and you can see the edge, we're gonna come in like this and we're just gonna cut in all the way around the edge. All right, there we go. We've got the top edge of our strap done. Now we're going to spin around here. And we're going to do the same thing now all the way around the bottom. All right, there we go. We've got one coat of our brown all the way around our strap. The top part of it and the little edges, top and bottom. Pretty nice. All right, let that dry. We'll hit it with a second coat. All right, there we go. Super easy. We sprayed it with our flat antique nickel. Then we came in and we brushed on a couple coats of our wrought iron. And then we came in and we brushed on a couple coats of our real brown on the wrap. That's pretty much it, man. That was super easy. Wow. All right, so with that last detail, painting the strap brown, that brings Jet's knife build to a close. Pow, there it is. Nice and easy, one episode, built the whole thing, sealed it and painted it. Really easy handle, real easy middle part. This whole thing up here was super cool. You saw how we built it in three different pieces beveled the heck out of the edges of it with our Dremel, then cut it apart and it went right back together and it has these cool inner bevels and geometry and stuff in there, angles, very cool. And the blade, you saw our little magic trick, how the blade was really thin, so it could be a little bit wobbly, uh, and we went in and we coated it. We painted the whole tip of it with super glue, and when that dries, it makes it really stiff, so that's perfect. Nice little cheat there. And you saw how we used the Dremel to bevel the edge all the way around. So we've got a nice blade that shapes down to a point this way, comes down to a point this way, and has the sharp point all the way around the edge. Really cool and really easy. And the paint job, like we said, super easy. We sealed it with plastic, sprayed it with our jamming 
uh, flat antique nickel, and then just came in and brushed wrought iron and brushed brown on the strap. That was it. Super easy. <sighs> Love this thing. Very cool, very fun, and very easy. Uh, all right. That concludes making an EVA foam jet knife. Hope you liked it. If you did, give us a like, share us with a friend, and subscribe to this channel. And together we're going to go step by step through a lot more super cool builds so that you get the props you deserve. Thanks for coming. See you next time.